Good morning. I'm Kevin Hooker with Ward Realty Services. And today in Kevin's Corner, we've got Joseph and Dylan with Rupal Home Inspection. And they've, they've came back in today to talk to us about mold, uh, how it's tested, the pricing of it. Uh, and they brought some equipment with us or with them to explain to us how that works. So tell us about mold, Joseph. Mold is always with us. It's very beneficial. I mean, we, people love blue cheese. Right. And the enzymes that they put in the cheese to culture it, that helps. Um, develop it okay um, so it, like if mold is with us if you take a loaf of bread lay it on the counter for two weeks come back it's great sure it's full of mold we didn't introduce it it's just always in the air um, some people are sensitive to it um, if they're sensitive to it the more they're exposed the less amount of mold in the air okay. that could be sampled um, yeah I've had buyers uh, when I was doing showings come into a house and, and literally just smell and, and tell me there's 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 mold in this house somewhere. Yes, and, and the more they're exposed to it, yeah. if they're sensitive to it, the, the more they become sensitive. Mm -hmm. And it would bear out because at, at a home inspection, they would find mold that the, the folks initially said, there is something in this house because my sinuses are starting to bother me. You know, I can tell, so. You know, we, we talked about our, uh, one of our other videos was about radon. Right. Radon says anything over f over four, the EPA recommends mitigation. The EPA has no lower threshold with mold. Okay. So it's always when we sample, we always sample and it tells you the account. Sometimes like, it depends on the season. Mm -hmm. Winter season when it's, the air is cooler and cleaner, the air smells fresher because there's less things in the air. There's less mold in the air. You want to talk about sampling? Yeah. So. Um, Whenever we sample mold, um, we use these little units right here. Um, this is a suction pump that sucks the air through here um, and actually goes into these little canisters right here that you can see. Mm -hmm. It has tape inside of that. So whenever the air sucks through, all of the uh, mold molecules will stick to that. Okay. And then we send it to the lab um, to kind of see what it has. Um, normally we'll test outside to get a control group um, to make sure that we're figuring out, we're trying to figure out where it's originating from. So if outside there's some molds that aren't present, mm -hmm. but then we'll run inside for five minutes. If we can tell that um, some molds are inside but not outside, then we know that it's originating from the house. Okay, okay. There's different types of ways to sample. This is, would be like a tape lift. So if you had, if I had mold here, I would just take peel this off. It's a direct, and then you put it on the slide, and then on the slide, then they would take send that to the lab, and they'll pull it up with a microscope. Okay. When they do the sampling, uh, they'll take that and they'll give a count, mm -hmm. and they'll tell us what type it is. And like Dylan had just mentioned, you always want a controlled, so you do the outside, and generally if it is higher outside than it is in the house. It's a lot of it is originating from the inside. It's from the outside. From the outside, okay. Um, if, it, if there is something on the inside that wasn't on the outside, then we know it kind of it, it originates. The issue originates mm -hmm. on the inside. Okay, okay. And I know earlier we were talking about this and you were telling me there was a pretty much a direct correlation between humidity and temperature. Yes. Yeah. Mold, you know, takes three ways for it. Um, it grows on organic products, okay. wood and drywall. Um, we're not, we build our houses on this, so we're not going to get rid of that. Right. Um, it uses oxygen. I like to breathe, so yeah. we're not going to get rid of oxygen. Can't get rid of that. And then so the moisture, the moisture in the air is what we can, can control. Air conditioning in the, great, in the summertime is very good because it pulls the moisture out of the air. Sure. Um, crawl spaces, little dark areas, we say dark areas, areas that are confined sometimes in closets mm -hmm. next to the exterior wall. We found it um, in the attics, crawl spaces, basement, any areas that the moisture can accumulate. Mm -hmm. um, sunlight is a great purifier. It cleans as well. Okay. So the moisture, we can once we control the moisture, um, that does a lot for the controlling of 
cleanse it. Okay. Cool. And what do they what do they look like? No, she brought oh, one. one. Yes, we do. They, is that for the lab or is? Yes, this was so. A, this once, is what we can expect back. Yes, once we get a test um, in December and Jan, the, the colder months, you're going to have less particles, okay. total particles, and then August, July. You know when hay season is, or when there's. Lots of things in the air, lots of molds and allergens are going to be in the air as well. So that's why we're really it's really con controlled. You want to do the outside first and then the inside mm -hmm. because that helps core. Okay. So if we have a problem outside, sometimes we always try and get it on the windward side where the wind is blowing towards the house. Okay. So if there's something going on, it's coming. Yeah. That that's sense. how you isolate where it's in the house or, or if it's outside. So, yeah. Yes. Okay. And what's stuff the Hawkeye run? Our our, new, test? our test is three hundred and fifteen dollars. Okay. Um, as we go through, and it's a five. It usually takes four or five days. We'll sample in the morning, or we'll sample it, and then we'll overnight it to the lab, mm -hmm. and then it's a couple of days for them to sample it and bring it back. So it's about four or five business days once we sample before we get results. Okay. And then after that, we'll be up to the buyer and seller workout uh, mitigation and all that. Yes, everything can be cleaned with a house. And sometimes it's cleaning ductwork, sometimes it's cleaning molds. Sometimes um, if it's by removing, mm -hmm. if it's like in a basement drywall, sometimes it's easier just to remove the drywall. Yeah. Rather than, and then they've got some nice products where it's an antimicrobial paint. Okay. That they'll actually paint on like a tool of joys or in crawl space and stuff. Across the floor Okay. And that gets rid of it. Well, does it get rid of it or does it just tell it not to come back? Mold um, is, when we eat food, we digest it, it goes to our stomach. Mold does not have that. If this were floor joists, the mold enzymes or the digestive enzymes are kind of broadcast out okay. of the floor joists. And then the spores are broadcast on top of that. So then it kind of eats it away. But what we've had is we've been in crawl spaces primarily that you can put a screwdriver right through the floor oh, wow. joists because the mold is digested the wound to the point where it's no longer. So not only, not only do we worry about termites eating our floor choice, now we don't worry about mold eating them. Yes, okay. and it compromises. Yeah. All so right, guys, just eat both. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Because <laughs> well, they work hand yeah. in hand. It's yeah. like, termites yeah. like warm, you know, wet wet wood. Sure. Wet, rotten wood, so right, deteriorating. So the two kind of go hand in hand. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate y'all coming in today and talking to us about it. Um, guys, if you uh, are interested, please give Joseph or, or Dylan a call and, and your phone number. 812-945-7478. And we appreciate uh, you taking a look at this video. hope it was informative about mold. Um, for your real estate needs, please give me a call at Ward Realty Services, 502-396-4969. Uh, Thank you so much. Have a great day.